everybody, it's Sloane from Abundant Life Amazing Grace and I wanted to take you guys through a quick rock walk through through my prayer binder that I made. Uh, I really got this idea from Corey Speaker, the Reset Girl. She's a Christian lady who also does a lot of ins inspiration encouraging online and she's into crafts and planners and all that kind of stuff so if any of that interests you I highly recommend her and her shop has got a lot of creative stuff that you can you can download and print and so it's a lot of fun working with her designs and making them um, my own so anyway I got this idea from her um, she had an idea for a prayer binder and then she prayed through it at Camp Reset and it was just really inspiring to me and I thought it would really help my prayer life and I think it's added a couple of dimensions. I've always been very much into asking God for things, of course everybody does, uh, enjoying my prayer life and yielding to Him. I always, and I and praise, I usually gave a little bit and repentance, you know, I did from time to time when something was really bothering me or felt like I did something wrong. So, um, but this is like a daily little walkthrough of a Bible that I just flip through and I pray and things inspire me as I go. So, um, it is a work in progress. I still have a lot to do, but I want to show you and I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it. All right, this is the cover of my prayer binder. It's with some of Corey's um, artwork and a faith light stick sticker that says, one says pray, I mean, I'm sorry, illustrate faith stickers. One says pray, and the other one says God is with her. She shall not fail. And Faithful Life is one of Corey Speaker's clubs. She has the Faithful Life Club. On the back of here, I have um, a sticker I got out of, um, uh, not a sticker, a page, that I got out of a kit. I get um, a kit through the mail. Give me a second, I'll come up with what it's called. Um, faith box, faith box. I get faith box, and um, it says, "Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God." And I had stamped and colored in this little bird, and I just kind of stuck it all together um, with some punch outs, and I think it turned out really cute. As you open it, I used Corey's idea about lining my binder. This is just a little half size binder. Um, I had one somebody gave me so that's what I'm using. Um, anyway, these papers are just regular cardstock paper from Illustrated Faith and I cut, I put a little tape runner on the back and stuck them down. This Tombow tape runner and uh, I think it gives it a nice little pop of color when I open up my binder. I wanted it to be something inviting and fun. I really like this little card that I got. Um, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6. I think that's a good way to start off my prayer binder is in pray. Um, pray is the acrostic that we're using for these prayer binders. And they, that is pray, which is praise, repent, ask, and then yield. And that's how my prayer binder is set up in that one, two, three, four, praise, repent, ask, and yield. Um, before I even started off with that though, I saw this little meme, um, cute little card, and I, it said, change your outfit, change your life. And it put the idea about putting on the armor of God in my head. And that's Ephesians um, 6.13. So, um, I really liked this little layout um, to start with. Before I even start praying, I need to put on the armor of God and trust in Him. Um, on the back, I did this simple little drawing um, and just hand drew it and colored it in. But it goes over the brace, breastplates of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the gospel of peace. Um, the sword of the spirit and the helmet of salvation, which is the armor of God, and that's Ephesians six eighteen. It just reminds me of all the things that are in the armor of God. Uh, I had this little um, acetate, I guess it is, hanging around, and it says "Live in the sunshine." And to me, 
Um, God reminds me a lot that Jesus is like sunshine. He just brings warmth and well, uh, health and um, life to the world, and he lights up the darkness. And I, I have this little, I'm going to go quickly, so I have this little thing in here just to remind me about prayers that are so precious and they they're you know saved by in heaven and they live forever in heaven i have that little one too that says if crown fits wear it i think i remind myself that i am a princess i in the kingdom of god and i need to remember to put my crown on and straighten it up i got this one a long time ago it's been on my refrigerator it's from billy graham's wife um ruth I believe and her daughter put it out in a newsletter one time and this hangs in her pantry and it says praise pray and plug away and it's been stained but they framed it and it just hangs in her pantry and I thought that was a really neat um, piece so I saved it on my um, refrigerator for years and years and so I finally put it in my prayer binder because I hope it lasts it's it oh, I see it a lot and it reminds me to just praise and pray and then keep going I have a few extra little like these are cardstock that was in a little album that I'm using that was in my stash and so um, this one stop it says stop and smell the roses but I put and pray because you know I need to stop and pray um, I use the Lord as my helper in the first section here's the praise section um, I use some of Corey's artwork or that she sells. Um, I reminded myself that all the names of Christ and that, and there's a song, you, Lord, you are more precious than silver. You're more costly than gold. So I put, Lord, you are more, more costly than gold. And this was a little card I got out of a stack from Michael's. And this little piece of acetate just says how wonderful life is. And I wanted to be reminded of that in praising. Um, I wrote this one. Oh, taste and see that our Lord is good. Blessed, happy, fortunate, and envied is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. A little, little another piece about praising the Lord. And then I started writing just my blessings. Anything that was a blessing to me. And um, Rinda Clef collective has a song counting every blessings and it speaks to me a lot so I wrote out a lot of the verses in here and when I get to this part I think about it and God is good to me and I'm counting every blessing and then I decorated just a few little pages just to remind myself um, to put in extra things you know, for later um, God is good for his mercies and tender kindness and steadfast love endure forever that's Jer Jeremiah 3 33 11 sorry and praise the Lord for the Lord is good sing praises to his name for his gracious and lovely and that Psalms 135 3 I know I'll find a lot more to add to that and then my daughter-in-law gave me this cute little thank you note and I just I just loved it it was so cheerful and I put the sticker rejoice always um here's my one that starts on repentance and the repentance one I wanted to um Keep in the heart of repentance, knowing that God forgives and God loves. And as you know, it says, don't even think about giving up. And hey, sweet girl, because I know that even when I did something wrong, that God is faithful and just. And that's why I put faith. Um, he forgives us and he loves us. And so um, I also put this little one that says, remember who you, who you are and straighten your crown. And sweet girl again, because I feel like God just... He wanted me to, he wants us to be transparent with him. So I use this one from Joyce Meyer's ministry about transparency. Um, but I put, I am forgiven and self-care. And I put repentance is self-care. That we need to get rid of those sins and just give them to God. And he's faithful and just um, to forgive us our sins. I love that. Here's another more scriptures I put to remind me um, God's, the goodness of God leads men to repentance, Romans 2, verse 4. For his name's sake, my sins are forgiven, pardoned through his name, and on the count of confession of his name, 1 John 2, verse 12. 
And I used this one out of another little, um, I think that was, um, sorry, it's not coming to my head. Illustrated Faith, it was the Illustrated Faith paper that that one came from. That says, we have this hope that is an anchor for our soul. And I wanted this area, like I said, walk, I did walk by faith, love never fails. Um, and I put John, 1 John 1, 10, 9 through 10. 1 John 1, 9 through 10, sorry. We confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. And I put yes. So, um, here's another one. The same thing. If God is within her, she will not fail. I just wanted to keep recur encouraging myself that even when I fail, even when I'm not in God's will, even when I sin against him, I am still loved and cared for by him. And he's faithful and just. Under his wings, I will find refuge. For my prayer part, this is the one I'm really working on. I have a lot I want to do in here, but I just put, do not be anxious and everything, but by prayer and petition, be with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and be encouraged and inspired. And this one just spoke to me about friends and family, and um, live more, worry less, and smile. It was just like giving my cares to God and asking. Um, I put, my God will liberally supply the fill to the full, my every need according to his righteousness in glory in Christ Jesus. And that's Philippians 4.19. I've also decorated some of these pages just for future stuff because I said I'd be adding. Um, I want to build a section with pictures of my family. And I found this little, um, it was a pattern at a store and I'm not a sewer but I love these patterns they remind me of my childhood and Corey is inspired by these too so I've got a granddaughter coming and I have one granddaughter also so this page or this little part's going to be I'm gonna put maybe their pictures here and just remember to pray for them for my husband um, I he gave me this card and it was for my birthday, but I think he really just spoke a lot through this card. So I keep it in here to remind me that he loves me. And I want to put his picture on the back of here to pray for him. I also found these um, praying for your husband, 31 days. Um, Revive our hearts is, I think, the ministry. I think I will find it here. Yes, it says um, reviveourhearts.com is where I got it. But it's 31 days of prayer. So I made for your husband, and so I have about five pages of that. That one, one, one day each day I can pray. I really liked this one. It just spoke to me about prayers answered, redeemed, restored, blessed, glorified. His mercy, His Holy Spirit, love. Um, so I put that one in there to remind me how much He loves us when we ask. He's listening. Um, this one, our pastor has asked for California Praise for the World for our upcoming election. So I have this in here to remind me to pray. I also want to do a couple of sections for my kids and my family and for prayer requests that are urgent, more urgent. So that's a work in progress. Under Grace, um, I already put it under Grace, but this is the yield part. And I said, um, if we use this one, it reminds me of yielding. For know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. That's Jeremiah 29, 11. And I think this one's really great because it just reminds me. God has it. He's got it in his hands. Um, this one, it says, yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I am them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. That's John 15, Five, and that was a great thing about um, yielding also. And this one I've had, I've hung on to for like 25 years, 30 years. It's just a little card. And so it spoke to me and I wanted it to be in here so it would get used. Um, I've been bringing on the happy because when I give myself to the Lord, I really do feel happy and more at peace. 
um, this verse I put Jeremiah or Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. God has good thoughts and plans towards me. He intends for me to have peace and not evil and to give me hope in my final outcome. And I put believe and it is well with my soul because yielding is hard. Um, you have to really, you know, have Christ as your anchor. That's what that spoke to me. Um, capture every moment. I was, I was just thinking, you know, we're jewels. We need to remember that God is with us no matter where we go, what we do, and we need to yield to Him. Um, I found this one and I just thought it was cute, so I made it into something. It was a little, just from the Reset Girl, but it says, "Pray first, then." It's time to relax. God's got this. I have to remember that God is in control. And I just liked that one, so I put that one in for future. And I ended up with more of that um, Illustrated Faith paper and the back little pocket. And someone had made this for me. And it's I've held on to this for like 30 years. And it says, the Lord knows the desires of your heart and honors them. He leaps for joy at your willingness to follow his call in his in your life. And this one says, the Lord confines in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. Psalms 25 verse 14. So that is my little prayer journal that I've started to use. And I feel like it really is beginning to change my life. I hope you enjoy this little walkthrough and I will probably be putting more on as things, you know, progress in here. I can show you more of what I did with pictures and my family and the ideas I have for that. Thank you, Corey Speaker, for giving me this idea. And um, you can also watch her on YouTube. She goes through a walkthrough of her prayer binder. Thank you.